thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a sign of strength because that's what being a man is, putting women down. That's not acceptable. Barack Obama is back on the campaign trail and he's making the case against Donald Trump. But before his guest feature in Pennsylvania, Obama made a surprise visit to Kamala Harris's campaign headquarters in Pittsburgh. It was there that he got candid, maybe a little too candid if you are in the vice president's inner circle tonight. He warned that Harris is underperforming him with black voters. And he had a message specifically for black men. Part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. Mm -hmm. So now you're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a sign of strength because that's what being a man is. Putting women down? That's not acceptable. Hmm. CNN political commentator Errol Lewis is in our fifth seat for this conversation. Errol, um, I guess he knew the cameras were there. It was an unscheduled stop, but that message was so pointed. In addition to him making it very clear, Kamala Harris is not doing what she needs to do with this core Democratic constituency. That's right. Although he is asking her, let's be clear, to, to, to go over a very high hurdle. Barack Obama got historic levels of black voter registration yeah. and turnout and support, and he did it twice. It was almost inevitable that it was going to swing more toward the long-term uh, average of a handful of black but can voters. Can I interrupt you for just a moment, candidate. just to just to show you something here? Because we went back, looked at 2020 uh, exit polls. Biden got 92 percent of the black vote. Right now, according to Quinnipiac, in Pen this is in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. According to Quinnipiac, Harris is at 78. It's a big gap in this state right now. And that can be closed because Biden is not Barack Obama. Biden is not, on, well, he was Barack's, uh, Obama's running mate. Right. Um, certainly some spill over there. But she, I mean, you, you cannot ask of every black candidate in the post-Obama era, you've got to come up with 92% of the black vote every time. That is just not a reasonable assumption. Uh, if, the, if the margins are as tight as they're likely to be in this race, that's going to cause you problems in Pittsburgh, and in Philadelphia, and in Detroit, and in Milwaukee, and in Atlanta, and in all of the swing states. And so they're going to have to come up with a strategy. Now, Barack Obama is trying one strategy, trying to sort of connect with some of the black male voters who they think have been drifting away and are likely to drift away in these last 26 days. I'm not sure that's the right message, I mean, but they have to it's, try something. It's, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, it's not, this is not a, let me, a nice message. This is a very stern message. Let me ask you a question, Abby and yeah. Nina. Let me say, I find it very interesting that we're trying to reach out to white men. We're trying to reach out to black men. The yeah. people whose rights are really on the ballot right now are women. And we're begging all these men to pay attention to us and to, to care enough about this election to vote, to come out, yeah. to support us. I feel like Brock going on the campaign trail right now makes perfect sense, of course, right? He's a top surrogate for Democrats. He should be out there doing the work right now. I think it's just, it's so amazing to me that with women's rights on the line, we're spending so much time focusing on making sure men care. Because men, I, I, I don't know, it's because men are the problem men right now care. for Kamala Harris. <laughs> I mean, women... I mean, and, and by the way, uh, uh, Governor Walls, according to Politico, is going to be going out on a mentor, literally a tour of media to appeal to men. They need to appear, appeal to the needs of the voters. And so when I was a delegate for President Obama in both of his elections in Ohio, right now the vice president is down 11 points in Ohio, even though I, I fully expect President Trump to take Ohio, as he did twice, but to be down 11 points compared to President Biden, that is a problem. But this other issue I want to bring up is a problem, too. Why are black men being lectured to? Why are black men being belittled in ways that no other voting group... Now, a lot of love for former President uh, 
uh, Obama. But for him to single out black men is wrong. And some of the black men that I have talked to have their reasons why they want to vote a different way. And even if some of us may not like that, we have to respect it. So unless President Barack Obama is going to go out and lecture every other group of men from other identity groups, my message for Democrats is don't bring it here to black men who, by and large, don't vote much differently from black women. And what... As a politician, we should be trying to get all voters to vote. And hopefully there are a few good men out there who do care about the stripping away of some of women's bodily autonomy. But this is wrong for President Obama. It is a wrong course for the harris Waltz campaign to lay at the feet of black men when they have their reasons. In 2020, the vice president was labeled a do cop, you, as we know. But do you think... Sorry to interrupt you, Nina, but do you think he's right? That some of the reason, one of the reasons, is because they don't like the idea of. It might be some. Listen, house. black men are socialized in the same society as any other any other man. So yes, is misogyny maybe a part of it? But again, is President Obama and is the Harris Waltz campaign going to lecture yeah. other male groups in the same way that they're lecturing? But this is not men? just about. I don't think so. It's not just <clears> about <throat> Pennsylvania. It's not just about men. It sounds like there's a concern that there's a broad problem for Vice President Harris with the blue wall. Uh, it, it's a, it's basically according to the poll of polls, uh, no clear leader, a tied race, essentially in all three of these battleground states.